Firth of Forth, a majestic estuary that has long been a defining feature of Scotland's landscape. A cold, deep body of water separating Edinburgh from Fife. Its waters have witnessed centuries of history, from ancient times to the modern era. For centuries it was a barrier to travel and trade. Merchants and travellers had to navigate its treacherous waters, often at great peril. Then, in 1890, a marvel of Victorian engineering rose above the choppy waters, the Fourth Bridge. This engineering feat transformed the landscape and the lives of those who depended on crossing the Firth. This is no ordinary bridge. Its intricate steel structure is a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of its creators. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This designation recognizes its outstanding universal value and its significance in the history of engineering. A symbol of Scotland's ingenuity and determination, the bridge stands as a proud emblem of the nation's industrial prowess and its ability to overcome natural obstacles. The fourth bridge is a cantilever bridge. This design allows it to span great distances without the need for numerous supports in the water. Three massive towers, each taller than St. Paul's Cathedral, support the weight of the railway. These towers are engineering marvels in their own right, designed to withstand the harshest of conditions. These towers are connected by enormous steel arms, known as cantilevers. These cantilevers are the key to the bridge's strength and stability. These cantilevers stretch out over the water, meeting in the middle to form the bridge's spans. This design not only provides strength but also creates a visually stunning structure. The fourth bridge was a triumph of engineering. It required the skill and dedication of thousands of workers who toiled day and night to bring this vision to life. It was the longest bridge in the world when it was completed. This achievement was a source of immense pride for Scotland and a testament to human ingenuity. It remains a testament to the skill and bravery of the men who built it. Their legacy lives on in the steel and stone of this magnificent structure. Today, the fourth bridge is more than just a bridge. It is an icon, a living piece of history that continues to serve as a vital transportation link. It is a symbol of Scotland's industrial heritage, a reminder of the nation's rich history of innovation and engineering excellence. It is a reminder that anything is possible with hard work, ingenuity, and a bit of Scottish grit. The fourth bridge stands as a beacon of what can be achieved when vision and determination come together. Before the fourth bridge, there was the Tay Bridge. Opened in 1878, it was hailed as a marvel of the age, but that pride was short-lived. On a stormy December night in 1879, disaster struck. The Tay Bridge collapsed, sending a train and its passengers plunging into the icy waters below. The Tay Bridge disaster sent shockwaves through Victorian Britain. It highlighted the dangers of cutting corners and the importance of robust engineering. It also highlighted the urgent need for a safe and reliable crossing over the Firth of Forth. The collapse of the Tay Bridge was a national tragedy. It led to significant changes in bridge design and construction. It also paved the way for the construction of the Fourth Bridge. The engineers of the Fourth Bridge were determined to learn from the mistakes of the past. They designed a bridge that would withstand the fiercest storms and the heaviest loads. They would build a bridge that would stand the test of time. The Fourth Bridge is a cantilever bridge a marvel of engineering that has stood the test of time since its completion in 1890. This design was chosen for its unparalleled strength and its remarkable ability to span large distances without the need for numerous supporting piers. A cantilever is essentially a beam that is anchored at one end and free at the other, allowing it to support structures that extend far beyond its base. The fourth bridge ingeniously uses pairs of cantilevers that extend outwards from the massive towers, meeting in the middle to support the bridge deck, creating a stable and robust structure. The cantilever design allowed the fourth bridge to be built without the need for supporting piers in the middle of the Firth of Forth, a crucial feature given the challenging conditions of the waterway. This was crucial, as the water is very deep and the currents are strong, making traditional bridge-building methods impractical and dangerous. The bridge's three massive towers act as anchors for the cantilevers, providing the necessary support and stability for the entire structure. Each tower is made up of two enormous steel tubes, which are sunk deep into the bedrock below the waterline, ensuring a solid foundation that can withstand the forces of nature. 
The cantilever design of the fourth bridge was revolutionary for its time, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in bridge engineering. It allowed engineers to build longer and stronger bridges than ever before, paving the way for future innovations in bridge design and construction. The fourth bridge became a model for cantilever bridges around the world, inspiring countless other structures that followed its pioneering design principles. The fourth bridge's design is not only functional, but also aesthetically pleasing, with its bold lines and striking silhouette. The bridge's sweeping curves and its distinctive red color make it one of the most recognizable bridges in the world, a true testament to the genius of cantilever design. Building the fourth bridge was a monumental task, one that would test the limits of human endurance and engineering prowess. It took over seven years to complete and involved the labor of over 4,000 men, each contributing their skills and sweat to this colossal endeavor. The work was dangerous and demanding, with men often risking their lives to ensure the bridge's completion. The men worked long hours in all weather conditions, often suspended high above the water on precarious scaffolding. Rain, wind and cold were constant companions. The construction of the fourth bridge required over 54,000 tons of steel and over 6.5 million rivets, each one meticulously placed to ensure the bridge's strength and stability. The steel plates were shipped to the site from across Britain and the rivets were hammered into place by hand, a testament to the sheer physical effort involved. The sheer scale of the project was unprecedented, with the bridge stretching over a mile and a half across the Firth of Forth. The men who built the Forth Bridge faced numerous challenges, from ferocious storms to treacherous tides, each obstacle a test of their resolve and ingenuity. They persevered, driven by a sense of pride and a desire to create something truly remarkable, something that would stand the test of time. Many of these men came from the surrounding areas, leaving their mark on a project that would forever shape their community and become a symbol of their collective effort. The completion of the fourth bridge in 1890 was a cause for national celebration, a moment of pride for the entire nation. It was a testament to the skill, determination and courage of the Victorian engineers and workers, whose combined efforts made this engineering marvel possible. It marked the beginning of a new era in bridge building, setting a standard for future projects and inspiring generations of engineers and builders. The fourth bridge, often hailed as a Scottish icon, stands as a testament to engineering brilliance and architectural beauty. Completed in 1890, this cantilever railway bridge spans the Firth of Forth in the east of Scotland, its distinctive red color and intricate design have made it a beloved landmark, not just in Scotland, but around the world. Over the years, it has become more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of Scotland's industrial heritage and innovative spirit. Today, it continues to inspire awe and admiration, connecting communities and capturing the imagination of all who see it. Ah, the never-ending task of maintaining the fourth bridge. For many years, the bridge was famously known for its continuous painting cycle. It was said that once the painters finished, they would have to start all over again. This relentless upkeep became a symbol of dedication and perseverance. Though modern techniques have now reduced the frequency of painting, the bridge still requires constant care and attention to preserve its magnificence. Stepping into the 21st century, the fourth bridge stands as a testament to engineering brilliance and historical significance. It has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a well-deserved honor that highlights its importance. Today, the bridge not only serves as a vital transportation link, but also as a cultural landmark, attracting visitors from around the globe. Advances in technology and engineering have ensured that this iconic structure will continue to inspire future generations. The fourth bridge has left an indelible mark on art and culture. Its striking design and majestic presence have inspired countless artists, writers, and filmmakers. From paintings to photographs and even in literature, the bridge is celebrated as a symbol of human ingenuity and aesthetic beauty. Its influence can be seen in various forms of media, reflecting the deep connection people have with this architectural marvel. 
The legacy of the fourth bridge is one that will endure for generations to come. It stands not just as a functional piece of infrastructure, but as a monument to the visionaries who dared to dream big. The bridge's story is one of innovation, resilience, and timeless beauty. As we look to the future, the fourth bridge will continue to be a source of inspiration, reminding us of the incredible feats that can be achieved when human creativity and determination come together.